After rising concerns over bad bugs in South Korea with at least 30 cases having been reported as of Monday. To contain further infestation, authorities will conduct intense inspections and pass control on transportation and accommodation facilities for four weeks. Our E&E reports. South Korean authorities are fighting bedbugs amid growing public concern as the number of outbreaks as reported by the special response team on Monday surpassed 30. The first outbreak was reported in September, which was followed by reports in 17 regions across South Korea, including cities and provinces. Earlier in November, the Ministry of the Interior and Safety launched a special response to contain the growing bedbugs infestations. However, as the number of outbreaks increased, the matter was elevated to be overseen by the Prime Minister's office. A decision was made in the first related meeting held on Tuesday to intensify inspections and pest control starting Monday, focusing on public transportation and accommodation facilities for four weeks. In response to concerns about the effectiveness of currently approved bedbug pesticides available domestically, the government has decided to promptly import alternatives. And on the back of reports of bedbug infestations in France and the UK, demand for bedbug repellent in the local market has surged on year. According to reports on Monday, sales of bedbug repellent increased by 813 percent from the end of October to the 6th of November. Sales of mattress vacuum cleaners also increased by 610 percent. In addition, demand for products like bedbug traps, which were not popular last year, has also increased. Bedbugs do not transmit disease. However, the bites from these blood-feeding insects can cause itching and lead to secondary skin infections due to scratching. Guidelines published by the government say that when bedbugs are discovered, the use of high-temperature steamers and repellents is effective. When bitten by bedbugs, it is advised to first wash the area with water and soap. A visit to the doctor may also be required, depending on symptoms. Authorities are also advising that travelers thoroughly disinfect luggage before storing for an extended period as a way to eradicate them. Before the latest bedbug outbreak in South Korea, only nine such reports have been submitted to the government since 2014. Ian Yi, Arirang News.